Hello Aquarius, let's do your energy reading for mid-November. Uh, but remember, for most of you, these energies will extend into the new year, 2020. Uh, now, a lot of people have asked me for love readings. So that's what we're doing for each sign. However, if you're supposed to know some other messages about uh, anything in your life, whether it's your health, finances, job, family relations, anything whatsoever, it will show in the reading as well. Okay, so I'm going to be very honest. No sugar coating, okay? Uh, let's do this. Universe, please step in and show the sign of Aquarius. What energies will Aquarius be working with in mid November and beyond. What energies will the sign of Aquarius be working with? This is beautiful. Look at this. Hierophant. Hey. Oh, three of swords. We're going to clarify to see what's going on here. Page of Wands. You're very stressed out about something going on with your family. <sighs> Somebody immature, inconsiderate, causing you heartbreak. Let's see. Let's see clarification for Three of Swords. Universe, please. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So you also worried about finances and work. This fell out. It stresses you out. You're overanalyzing too much. We're going to put these back and see if it shows up again. We want to clarify the Three of Swords. Universe, please step in. Clarify this Three of Swords energy of heartbreak uh, on the Aquarius. What's going on? Seven of Pentacles, the moon card. So, there is somebody in your family that's disruptive and causing a lot of drama. But this person shows up here as moon, as uh, very confused and not right in the head. So, they are... A lot of times, moon card will also indicate uh, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, uh, mental uh, problems. So you're dealing with somebody who's very unstable. So you, this individual is causing you a lot of, has caused you a lot of heartache, a lot of drama, uh, problems, uh, mental anguish stress you name it we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna ask and this person showed up as a page so this person is very immature they showed up as page not even a knight uh, yeah and this is a lot of stress also working too much uh, your work showed up also, besides family drama. Um, we're going we're gonna to clarify that the person that showed up as drama queen um, in this reading so far. We're going to clarify that. But uh, before we go into that, let's finish this. This shows up as um, a company you work for. So it's some kind of big company or important company influential so this also could mean governmental this could mean uh some kind of establishment that could be tied to the government as well or um what's the word i want to use um if it's not governmental it's uh critiqued by the government uh watched by the government carefully um you working too much too much too much too much too much stress at home now and too much work look at this if you do not find some kind of outlet to release the stress that you're feeling it will 
develop itself into a physical illness. It will attack the weakest part of your body. So please be very mindful. Yes, we all have stress in life. Yes, life is very stressful. But you need to find some kind of an uh, outlet to release the stress. Okay, you need to, no matter what it is that will work for you, whether it's meditation, sea salt baths, um, going for nature walk, whatever it is, you need to find an outlet to release the stress. If not, it will develop itself into a physical illness. So please take this very seriously. Now, we want to draw some energies on the troublemaker that showed up earlier with the moon card and the very immature page of wands energy. Universe, please um, show that person's intentions towards Aquarius. Please show that person's intentions towards Aquarius. Oh, sweet God, the tower card. So that's self-explanatory. This person is a major drama in everybody's life so no matter where that person is uh, and who they dealing with they cause drama they cause drama for everybody involved so that's there again look at this I can't possibly make this shit up again they showed up as immature page of wands creating drama so they love living in drama and they love creating drama around them for other people to be involved in but you're getting some kind of divine help from but what i feel is it's from people that have passed that you knew from this lifetime Yeah, this person is sick. Um, this person is not doing well. So you have to, don't hold grudges, um, but separate yourselves. Uh, separate yourself from this craziness, from this crazy energy. Um, yeah, this person is nothing but drama creator. So... But let me see if they want to bring more drama to your life. That's what we want to see. Universe, please clarify these energies on this individual's intentions towards Aquarius, please. King of Wands. Um, Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands. High priestess. So they have no power. They powerless. They all talk and yelling and screaming and threatening. Yeah, very immature person. Yeah. Primitive. Um, yeah, something is off. Something is off. But with this tower energy, they can be vicious. So you have to be careful. But they pretty much powerless. And you have somebody uh, from the other side literally who you used to know in this incarnation that past that is protecting you and guiding you uh, but most of all use your common sense uh, you know who this person is and you know them well enough to know how to deal with them and what to expect from them okay so the universe showed you with the tower card expect more drama coming from them but you can protect yourself okay you know how to deal with this individual this person loves to create drama and get attention from other people and involve them in drama as well three of pentacles so your job is showing up here eight of wands messages messages coming to you something to do with job your job but you're so depressed and sad and withdrawn you're so down on yourself Aquarius why are you so down on yourself pick yourself up pick yourself up good things will come to you let me see clarification on five of cups on Aquarius please 
Dem uh, yeah, you are depressed and sad and emotionally withdrawn because of this crazy cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs in your life. The moon card again. So this person, you have to remember this person is sick. There's something mentally wrong with this individual. But it's not like a... It's not like a typical disabled mentally person. This person is very vindictive and shady and sneaky. So you have to be very careful how you deal with them, how you talk to them. It's like you have to be a psychologist to deal with them. You do. Yeah, they broke your heart. They hurt you deeply. Uh, for a lot of you, it's your family member. It could be a distant family member. It could be a close family member. But somebody who deeply hurts you. Three of Swords is the worst energy in the entire deck. In a traditional deck, it's depicted by a heart being stabbed by three swords. So this person really did a number on you. And no wonder you are sad and withdrawn and not trusting for the right reasons. Ten of Cups, but your life will get better. You learned already how to deal with this person, with this situation. You already know how to deal with them. For some of you, because this is a collective reading with collective energies, for some of you, this is your family member. For others, it's your spouse, your ex-spouse, um, ex-husband, ex-wife. Okay, so you know your situation. You know who it is. I want to see more detail on this Three of Swords, however. King of Wands. You have a lot of wisdom. You have high priestess energy showing up here. So you are very highly intuitive. Protect your energy. You're very highly intuitive. But this person knows you well enough to know what triggers you and how to hurt you. So they're very manipulative. They're very shady. Justice card. Listen. Justice card. So... You had unfinished karma to balance with this individual and you finished that karma with this person. You're done. You're done with this individual, but they still lingering around with their energy of craziness and chaos and drama. They love drama. Ah, this also means, this also means with the justice card here, that if this person goes nuts, you can rely on judicial system to help you, on legal system to help you. We didn't even ask about that, but it showed up in here. So you have resources out there to help yourself in case some craziness happens again. You've been through a lot because of this individual, because of this situation, Three of Swords. You've been through a major heartbreak. No wonder you are so guarded. Eight of Wands. So this person is going to try to communicate with you. Yeah, they're going to try to earn your trust, but be very cautious. You already know how they are. Don't let your guard down. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Do not let your guard down. You're very guard. Uh, you, mm, you're very grounded. Even though you're Aquarius, which means you are an air sign, you showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful energy of grounded energy, uh, financial success coming to you. Earlier, you showed up uh, worried about uh, something going on with your job. You're going to be fine financially, okay? So don't overanalyze so much to a point where you are stressing out so much that you can't rest or sleep at night okay you will be fine emotionally and financially let's see advice more advice for aquarius please universe please step in show advice for the sign of aquarius advice for aquarius 
seven of pentacles so you worrying about money finances yeah yeah five of swords very hectic energy uh, stress look at this all red and stressful two of cups so you have some kind of love somebody loves you i feel is the divine showing uh, through your uh, person, whoever it is that's helping you from the other side, literally, that has died, that passed away. This person is around you and loving you and helping you and guiding you with the job, finances, relationships. So you have some angel who you used to know in this lifetime that loves you so much and is guiding you the best they can. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Two of Cups. Love. Clarified by another Two of Cups from another deck. So this person has so much love for you. They are helping you. Um, for some of you, it was um, um, an Earth sign. So it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, this person could be anybody, really. But, yeah. So, that was your relative from this lifetime that passed away that's watching over you. So, whoever comes to your mind first, that's the person that's guiding you. Also, this means that you and that person were relatives in other lifetimes as well. But in different relationships. So, let's say if in this lifetime you were siblings... <coughs> excuse me in other lifetimes you were different family members you could have been father and son or mother and son you know what i mean stuff like that eight of cups um the lovers gemini energy five of wands Ace of Wands. Um, cleanse your energy at home. You have some toxic energy at home. Spirits showing up here. Please cleanse your energy at home. Smudge it with sage. Uh, wash the floors with uh, ammonia. If you have to be very careful with ammonia, though, because that's considered poison. Be very careful, especially if you have kids at home. Uh, if you have kids at home that are le relatively small, do not use ammonia. Don't even buy it. So I would just smudge it with sage on weekends. Okay. Cleanse the energy at your home. You have very heavy, heavy energy at home. And it's not going to allow you to sleep right. You're going to have a hard time sleeping and resting. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. So that's what showed up for you, Aquarius. But let's see more messages. That's interesting how different things are showing up, not just love. So, universe, please step in. Show more messages for the sign of Aquarius about anything you need them to know for the highest good, please. King of Wands again. King of Wands, justice. So... King of Wands could represent a person who is either uh, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, most likely male, uh, that you in a union with, with the Justice card. Three of Wands, Death card, which is good, transformation, major change. Let me clarify this. Let's see what this is about. The universe, please clarify these energies for advice for Aquarius. Eight of Wands, communication. Ugh. So this crazy person, I'm sorry to call them crazy, but this disruptive person keeps showing up here again with the moon card for the third time. So this person, whoever it is that you with, that's that's a fire sign at your home. This this disruptive person is going to try to contact either one of you or both of you. <coughs> uh, so be very careful. 
because this person is capable of anything. They're not stable. They're not stable in the head. And they can be very sneaky and vindictive with this moon, moon card energy. Yeah. Judgment. So this person is going to try to be on... This person is going to try to be on, like, um, what's the word? They're going to try to be nice and play nice to reconcile with you, to go, to come back into your good graces, but you can't trust them. No, you can't. But you already know that. We don't have to tell you. You can't trust them. No, be very guarded. You can't trust them. No, how, no matter how nice they talk to you. And this person, again, showed up here. The king of, um, king of wands showed up here with Aries energy, which is emperor. Um, so this troublemaker is going to try to make peace with both of you or either one of you. Um, is going to make contact. So be very careful. Um, again, legal system showed up here with the justice card. So remember, the universe is showing you that you have the legal system on your side if you need to use their help if necessary. Okay. Wow. This was quite challenging this time for you, Aquarius. Um, the bottom line is this. Remember, it showed that you're going to be fine. So don't overanalyze. Don't overstress. Cleanse your energy at home. Very important. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. And I will be back in about two weeks or so to do your uh, December read. Okay. So please take care of yourself. Thank you. And if you need a private read, you can email me on the email right below this video. Thank you so much for watching.